I just got an alert. A package was delivered. Let's go take a look. Open the pocket door. We have to close this because not this cat, but the other cat likes to try to escape. Look at this, a box. Christmas. It rattles. We're going to have to go see what's in this. I had a very sad occurrence the other day. My trusty Bogan, or Manfrotto tripod, I think I purchased this in 1982. Another one of the lever locks. For the, for the leg mechanism broke. It snapped clean off in my hand. So I came to the realization that new tripod head or not, I think I've got to replace this. I had wanted a little lighter weight tripod for travel, something that would be um, have a case in it and be a little easier to carry and maybe have a bag. I found this tripod on Amazon and the box has come in and I thought you'd be with me while I open up the box and we'll see what's in here and take a look at what's going on. After we look at everything included in the box, we'll take it out and test it in the field and see how we like it. And there it is, much smaller than the one I had. It's the Jolican, turn this so you can see it, tripod. It's got a, nothing else in the box. Looks like everything is in this case. Nice zippered case. Um, case feels padded, has an arm strap on it. And I did want to let you know, I actually ordered this. I paid for this with my own money. This um, is not any kind of a sponsored review whatsoever. It's just a product that I needed. And so here we are unboxing and seeing what's going on. So let's take this guy out of here and see what we have. We got a tripod, there's some kind of handle, a couple packs of silica gel, we'll get rid of them. This is really a nice bag, it's padded. Instructions and a Allen wrench to put the whole thing together. Let's look and see, I'm a guy, right? We don't read directions. So let's see if we can put this thing together. It's one of those full folding jobs that folds back on itself. Now, this is an aluminum tripod. Um, I wanted that instead of the carbon fiber. Um, I don't know, I just um, think that aluminum, it, it fits me better. I, I, I really can't explain it much more than that. All right, let's see what's going on. Wow, the head is very reminiscent of the, um, it's loose too. So we're gonna have to do something about that. Reminds me a lot of the uh, Asco effect. Now I'm curious because I like that other tripod head so much. And it's got the standard 3 8 mount by the looks of it. So I could put my Asco tripod head that I've purchased and liked so much um, onto. Not a big fan of that. That comes loose really easy. I'll have to... So the legs are a twist leg. Oh, there's a little. Little sharp parts right at the end too to stick in the grounds. I've always preferred the lever locks, but uh, this tripod had such good reviews on it. I thought I'd try them out. So if you grab these all one time with your hand, you can loosen them all, bring the whole thing down, full extension, and just tighten these up. And there you are. And he is tall. I say it's an 80 inch high. This is probably above the screen now that I think about it. So I wonder if I should bring him down a little bit. Let's do that. Let's bring one leg, leg in on each one of these. Let's see if that makes it a little more the level we need as I'm here to look at this. Not too shabby. 
This also has the, um, like most of the tripods seem to anymore, it becomes a monopod. So you can use that as a monopod. You've got to put a, it's got a 3 8 connector on it, so it'd have to, you have to put a head on that. I don't know as I'd ever use that feature. Okay, I've grabbed the Fujifilm, so I've got that. And my camera, I use an XE3, and I put this uh, grip on from, uh, I think the company is Mikey, and I really like the grip. But what it gets me, it gets me that standard uh, mounting plate for uh, tripod connections on there. Um, I've tried all kinds of different camera straps, and what I keep gravitating back to are these old straps. Um, I mentioned before that I go to some estate sales and pick up different cameras different times and kind of wheel and deal in that a little bit, and I end up with a lot of these old straps, but I really like them. Um, maybe it's just the air I grew up in, and you can just detach that thing really quickly. And let's see if he mounts up in there. Just like downtown, the name of the tripod will face me. Well, that loosens right up. I am not a fan. Um, so that I can go horizontal or vertical on my view instead of horizontal. She seems to be nice and steady. It was very quick and easy setup. I think this might be a good addition. I've got to figure out a better way to lock that tripod head on. Maybe I'm missing something. I should probably read the instructions. Because it has a five year warranty. Oh, they have an extra short tube in the package so that you can shoot really low by the looks of it. I think you can flip the center column upside down and get low and do some macro work. This summer, um, or on some travel vlogging we're gonna be doing, um, we'll have to do some stuff like that. I think what we should do is take this guy out in the field and see how it performs. For no particular reason other than it's sunshiny and beautiful outside today, and it is, today's the first day of March here in Michigan. Well, it's probably the first day of March over the whole world, now I think about it. I thought I'd come down to an area we've been to quite a bit before, and that's the Blue Water Bridge right here in Port Huron, Michigan. This is the international crossing that connects Port Huron with Sarnia, or the USA with Canada. But I thought this would be a good time to test out this uh, tripod, and just so just so you know, I'm not any kind of a shill for anybody. I really did buy this. I've already given up on the Jolican head. I mentioned that earlier, I didn't really care for it. I've actually mounted my ASCO head that I had on the Bogan tripod onto this tripod, and it fits beautifully and works well. This is not awful. It's not awful. You know, it's just, but it's not what the other one is. And since I had it, you know, if you're buying the tripod and, and, um, you're going to use it. It's it's not awful. I did figure out the uh, the mounting system. What they were trying to do. Once I took this off, I saw the other plate and how it actually would tighten them both down at the same time. I thought it friction between them, but it doesn't. It's just like a little mini wrench that would tighten the whole thing up. So let's go ahead and set the tripod up. Um, I'm going to set it up here. I'm going to see if I can get far enough away from you and over here to still get a shot. I'm just gonna do a really quickie shot with uh, young Thomas Edison right here in front of the Blue Water Bridge. Port Huron, Michigan is the boyhood home of Thomas Edison, in case you didn't know. Let's unzip this. I gotta say, this is an amazingly good case. I really like this case that came with this. One thing I'm not certain if I'm going to keep very long is the this little velvet pouch to protect the tripod head. Oh, and let me come up, I'll show you really quick. Akoa, that's the name of the tripod head. So I've mounted the Akoa tripod head onto this Jolican tripod, and it has made a really nice setup. I've already tried it in the house a little bit. I think I showed you that the one does come off and becomes a monopod if you want. And there's a, uh, you just take the one extension off the uh, top of the tripod and screw it down. And then your head's mounted and, and uh, there it goes, there it works. Well, it's set up. We're going to be fairly low, so I'm not going to extend this up very far. In fact, these, the legs do have multiple angles where it stops. So you can get out pretty splayed, pretty low, you know, or you can bring it up where it'd be very tall. Um, and this thing gets really tall. In fact, let me show that off real quick, what actually, what it can do. It's pretty, pretty crazy, actually, how tall this thing can get. And then it comes with a little extender that'll extend it up about another six inches. So here's our 
tripod, you know, with the legs at minimum spread. And then I've got this up. And then there's one more that'll go up as well. There it goes. So this guy's getting pretty darn tall right there. I mean, I'm 6'2", so this thing's getting up to about six foot, what is that, four inches? And then your camera mount on top of that, that's crazy tall. Oh, the water is going like gangbusters. If you're not familiar with this area, the north side over here is Lake Huron. And this is the St. Clair River. So Port Huron is right the point where Lake Huron becomes the St. Clair River. All of the Great Lakes, so you've got uh, Lake Michigan, Lake Superior, and Lake Huron all flow and come right down here into the St. Clair River. And then this flows all the way out through the other Great Lakes and then all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. All the lake water is pouring right through this pinch point right here. So the currents are just crazy and uh, it flows really, really fast. There, now we're down low. Oh, one thing it does have too, it's got the hook. I've never had a tripod with one of those. You all probably have one like that. It's got the little hook that you can hang your bag from. I'm looking forward to that because uh, possibility I'll be in some windy environments in the future. Let's grab the camera oh, real quick. And again, we're just gonna mount this guy on there real fast. So if you're wide enough, we can probably get a little shot really quick. I remember to put a memory card in the camera. I think I'd like the horizontal format better. We're wide enough we can pick and put all of him in there. Like that. Again, nothing. I'm not taking any great amount of time to compose or do anything or set anything. I got the whole camera set in automatic. First saw her, a black cat crossed my trail. Bad news and high heels made me go off the rail. So I'm really happy with the purchase. It was less, it was less than $100 to get this tripod. It is aluminum. Um, the turns and the legs are very solid. How they work, very smooth. Um, the lock mechanisms here, you can kind of see seem to be quite quite good in how they work. They did um, include a little Allen wrench. As I said, this may be too tight or too loose for you. You can adjust the tightness of that right through there. And uh, again, I forgot my gloves and it is quite cold out here today. So really quick, that's my review of this little Jolikin tripod unboxing and review. Um, I'm looking forward to it. We're going to be using this pretty much primarily as our main tripod in the future as we go forward. And uh, we'll be testing this out in all kinds of different environments. But I wanted to introduce this to you first. Um, you know, you got to see me use it for the very first time. This is the first time I've taken this guy outside out at all. And uh, very, very happy with the purchase. So Jolikin, if you're listening to me, this tripod deserves a better head. This, not so good. This one I put on is a great head. Other than that, you've got a winner of a product. I'm very impressed. Um, first tripod I bought, new since probably 1982 or 83. So I know I'm not normally a product review channel, but hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully it's a little bit of fun, something a little different, and uh, gets an opportunity to get outside. I've been tired of being inside editing videos. As always, thanks for watching. If you like this, remember to click that like button down below. That's really important. Hopefully we'll see you around again. And uh, next time we should have some pretty exciting adventures coming up. I'm James Fisher, and this is Vintage Illumination Photography. Thanks for coming with me on this product review.